Oh. Yeah, that might be work. Like you can make like, like a, you can like heat heat like a knob to a certain degree. So like, oh yeah, I'm looking for that knob. It's a, you heat it to that degree, and you can heat something to like, you know, a, to, you play, you can heat. You can heat something to something pretty accurately. Yeah, Jeff and I were just uh, detecting like, what existing heat is on something we don't really like that. But I'm just saying you could heat something to have a, as like a beacon to like, oh, that's something I'm looking for. That, is that, yeah. that, that I'm looking for something is that that tensile so basic. We're like, oh, that's that's 92 degrees. I'm looking for something that's 92 degrees to grab onto. Yeah. You could, yes. and then make it easier for the robot to identify something. Yeah. You know, you know, by like using it for red because it's, it's supposed to be a certain degree, like control, control heat yeah, yeah, yeah. to the system. Uh, in general, we don't like, heat up something so that we see it. We just like that on all yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. What do you guys do here? Yeah, so I'm here with NASA with the Applied Sciences team. We're talking about our recent comic strip chairman that we hosted. It was an international contest that invited youth and adults from around the world to participate. The winners were in the water division. Um, they took an original Applied Sciences story and designed it, spent it, and won. And then here is the second one with wildfires. So, our activity today, we invite anyone who's interested to create their own comic. We kind of already started because we've been coming around yesterday and today. Just to tell their own story about how they're celebrating their day. Okay, so you can make a story, you can submit it, and then if you win, you get put on the website. Yep, you get put on the website. It's shared on social media. You're sent a comic that's printed on a really nice paper. So we plan on hosting a similar episode yeah, so of this call. So if you're interested in learning more, we have a QR code here. Yeah, definitely take get that. Yeah, That'd be yeah, really yeah. cool. So you do you're the marketing marketing yeah, one. So I help think of new campaigns or other ideas that we can execute to get people interested in our work and educate others about it. Yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, so I do I do a lot of campaign stuff too. I've been doing Earth Day festivals every year for like ten years, and I've been working on campaigns and stuff. It's very it's very hard. Like I feel like a lot of people just kind of forget about Earth Day. Yeah, it's like Earth Day is just another day. I'm like, yeah, you don't say that about Valentine's Day or Christmas. Right, right. No, it deserves to be celebrated. <laughs> you know, the Earth is really important, and we yeah. deserve to be celebrated. Yeah. And, and um, I really want to, one of the things I think we need to do is uh, market to make Earth Day a natural holiday. Yeah, that would Because so, not only is schools going to be out that day, but the stock market would be closed. <laughs> think about every stock trade. I have to be like, oh, it's Earth Day. I can't, I can't trade stocks today. I have to sell my Earth Day. <laughs> that would be like mind blowing for every single stock market out there. Say the, the United New York Stock Exchange is closed. Yeah. I have to set up my Earth Day. Yeah. That's that, yeah. that 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 alone will be like yeah. game changer. Yeah. So I hope you have something fun planned for Earth Day. It's all getting a little bit early, but I mean, I'm glad you guys are out here. I I came all the way out to Washington D.C. to celebrate Earth Day. It's been one of my dreams to be in Washington D.C. for Earth Day. <laughs> and I'm glad to find you guys here. Yeah, yeah, no, glad you could attend. Um. Make sure to get your prize from the event too. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm an organization called the Rock Club Foundation. I'm Eric the Dream Giver. Oh, okay. So the Rock Club Foundation, I bring people together to make the world a better place, find dreams and make the world. And then I have to have the, uh, you know, and I'm Eric the Dream Giver, so I help people, help people find the dreams, and then the Rock Club Foundation try and bring people together to, to, you know, make, you know being dreamers together to make the world a better place. So yeah.